So can you tell me a bit about uh, the work you've been doing and the poster you will be presenting today? So uh, it's, uh, my poster is related to uh, sentiment analysis for search result snippets. So what it exactly means is that uh, when we search anything on Google or uh, Bing, then we are expecting some results. And with the results, there are some text, piece of text that tells us what the information about, what the result is about. So we might wonder if those texts might express sentiments, uh, maybe positive, negative, or neutral. Uh, we can find it even more interesting uh, when we sort some controversial queries, for example, nuclear power or COVID-19 vaccines. So in those controversial queries, the search results are, um, there are multiple results. There are, uh, some are positive, some are negative, and then that's what I'm trying to do here. So my main motive is to uh, develop an application um, that uh, collects queries from user, selects the search engine, and then downloads the queries, and then finally it performs fine-grained sentiment analysis. That means uh, a bit more detailed sentiment analysis, and then we can visualize it. Uh, we using different visual elements and then we can download it if we want. Okay, can you tell me a bit about uh, the results? So the results, uh, for example, I can show you here. Uh, this is the sample for the search engine, uh, search engine result page. It's a query here and then we got results. Here's, here, here is just four results here and then after the sentiment analysis that will be done here, what the output will be here. As a, that means those are the sample of outputs. There could be some more outputs, but those are basic output. That means here are four queries, and then here we can see that what are the sentiment tone for those queries here. For example, here the first one is neutral, the second one is positive, third one is negative, and fourth one is also neutral. Likewise, uh, this is another visualization element, so we can see the number of snippets here, how many snippets we want to visualize, we want to see, and then those are sentiment tones. For example, the first one is positive, but little positive. The second one is negative, but little negative. Then the third one is a bit more positive. Fourth one is most positive, and it goes on. So we have five level of um, uh, five label of classification so that we can classify snippets in five label and here we can do further more analysis for example what is the um, a trend of sentiment in a search result page for example we have eight such results here in one page then we can analyze we can see that how is the sentiment trend flowing either it's going downwards means it's going towards negative or it's uh, going towards positive so we can make an overview of that. And then finally, we can see the, um, for example, if anyone searches for 50 results, that means there are five pages. So we can see what's, what's the overall sentiment score. For example, what's the sentiment score for positive? What's the trend for positive sentiments in those five pages? Or uh, what's the negative, how it's going, it's rising or it's going down, so we can finally visualize and we can analyze that, oh, okay, in those five pages, sentiment, for example, negative sentiments are a little bit and then rising and then finally they are going up and then at last page they are going down. So it works this way. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you. Thank you.